Long time ago, in about 1200 BCE, in the time of the ancient Greeks, there was an amazing evolution of realism and perfectionism in sculptures. Look at how cool and accurate these statues are. Ancient relics, really? Wow. The ancient Greeks are also known for their religion with a bunch of gods and also this really long story that was written by a guy named Homer. It's called the Odyssey. One day, Odysseus and his team of tough guys needed to find some shelter. Lucky for them, there was a neat cave for them to rest in after a day of exploring the oceans. Look, man, this cave would be perfect to set up camp for tonight. You know, Odysseus, when you first found this cave, I thought, disgusting, dark, damp, Terrible. Only fit for some kind of disgusting monster. But you've added these nice throw blankets and decorative pillows. It's uh, quite homey. I didn't add any of these things. What are you talking about? Uh. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm hungry for some humans. It's a hideous man eating Cyclops! Ah! Wait, wait! That is no monster. He is a friend. Odysseus, he's like 50 feet tall and he just said he was hungry for humans. Shh, shut up, I have a plan, okay? Uh, my friend, uh, what is your name, a good friend? Who, me? I'm Polyphemus. What's your name? My name is Odysseus, uh, <clears throat> my name is uh, uh, Nobody. Ah, Nobody, it's nice to talk to Nobody. Yes, I'm nobody. Uh, but, uh, uh, Polyphemus, I noticed that you've got a boo-boo on your big toe. Uh, allow me to share with you my special healing tonic. Uh, take this, it will fix you right up, and you'll grow even more toes. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. I'm little drink with nobody. Mmm, delicious. Thanks to nobody. Ha ha. Well, it turns out that Odysseus was lying to the Cyclops the whole time. He lied about his name, he lied about the tonic, which was actually a sleeping potion. Poor Polyphemus had no idea what awaited him. Okay guys, now that he's asleep, let's blind him so that we can sneak out of here without him seeing us. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? Well, how about we take this salt and put it into his eye? Won't he call out for his Cyclops friends for help? Well, no, because he thinks my name is nobody. It'll work, trust me. Odysseus then snuck up on Polyphemus while he was asleep and poured salt into the Cyclops' eye. Yowza, that's gotta hurt. My eye, my eye, oh my eyeball, my single eyeball. Nobody's here, nobody's here. The other Cyclops heard Polyphemus um, cries, but did not come to his aid, for they, they were confused. Odysseus escaped and sailed the sea for years, while Polyphemus spent the rest of his life on Cyclops Island, where he was cautious about new people he met. Can't always believe everything people say, Polyphemus. <laughs>